Hey guys, my name is Graham, and in less than 48 hours, I will be flying to Seattle, Washington with my touring bike to start my summer bicycle adventure. In this video, I'm going to show you how I'm boxing up my bike to get ready for that flight. The box I'm using was purchased and is airline regulation size. It is large enough to fit my extra large size frame. I've tried bike shop boxes that are free, but most are a little too small for my bike. First, I remove the pedals. Pedals can be stubborn to remove, especially when using a multi-tool that has limited leverage. Just remember the left pedal is reverse thread. Partially deflate the tires, as this is an airline requirement. I'm guessing the cargo hold is not pressurized. Then remove the front wheel. I take the quick release axle out of the wheel to avoid it damaging something or poking through the side of the box. Next I remove the front fender. This needs to be removed as it will not clear the front of the box. This is a little difficult without a proper wrench or socket, but I try to disassemble the bike with the same minimal tools I bring on tour. That way I feel confident about reassembly at the far end. Before removing the seat and post, I mark the position with tape. This makes it easy to get the correct height set up when reassembled. Then I remove the seat. On my bike, I have a riser for the stem, and I remove the handlebars with the stem attached, breaking the connection at the riser. I then lace the handlebars into the frame and secure it with a couple of zip ties to the frame and lower water bottle cage. This keeps it from moving when in transit. Now I can lift the bike and handlebars into the box. The front wheel slides in adjacent to the rear frame stays. I zip tie the wheel to the rear rack and the frame seat tube. To keep the bike snug in the box, I'm using my sleeping bag wedged between the side of the box and the frame. With the front wheel and sleeping bag between the box and the drivetrain side of the bike, it provides some protection for the derailleur and drivetrain. I also zip tie the seat and post to the side of the rear rack. I'm making a small cutout in one end of the box to help with lifting and moving the box at the airport. Adding a little duct tape helps to reinforce the hole. Tape the top of the box closed, but don't go too overboard with the tape. Security will undoubtedly open it up again, and a few strips of tape laterally across are sufficient. bike, box, tent, sleeping bag, and accessories weigh right around 50 pounds. The airline limit is 55 pounds, so I've got a little headroom. The pedals and front axle are packed in my checked bag with my camping gear. Well, getting the bike in the box this takes a little bit of effort, but if you take your time and just double check everything's fit in there nice and snug, it's not too difficult. So my next stop is going to be Seattle, Washington in two days where I'll be starting off my tour. So please stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, like, all that good stuff, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you somewhere down the road.